to me it's been a pleasure to serve in this community. Um, it's, a, it's a broadening experience for us. No one really teaches you how to be an installation management uh, command sergeant major. Uh, you know, it's kind of based on your experience and as a mission unit uh, leader and then uh, understanding the mechanics of running an installation. So I've heard people compare it to uh, a mayor, which is actually inaccurate. It's more of a city manager. Really the senior mission commander is the mayor and we kind of uh, you know, manage his resources for him here to make sure units on the installation have everything they need to be ready to fight tonight. I've really appreciated uh, both commanders I've served under, uh, most currently under, under Colonel Joe Holland. Uh, the relationship between a command sergeant major and a commander is special. It requires a certain level of trust that's, you know, there's no switch that you turn on and say, okay, I trust this guy 100% from, from day one. Um, and so I've, I've really appreciated the relationship we've had, the professional relationship we've had. He's really empowered me and, and trusted me, uh, even, uh, even on decisions that he has kind of already determined the course, he still seeks uh, sound guidance and he never dismisses my uh, contribution. Um, in social engagements, he, he never misses an opportunity to, to recognize me and I think that's important from a, from a command team perspective. I've never felt marginalized here in the role of senior enlisted advisor or, or command sergeant major. So. I felt very empowered under both, both commanders here, and again, most recently under Colonel Joe Holland. The other thing I really enjoyed about uh, serving here is um, that I think I would not have experienced in a CONUS-based installation, is the relationship and the culture between the partnership and alliance with the Republic of Korea. Uh, I've heard it said many times that if you befriend a Korean, you'll have a friend for life. And I've really experienced that both now, uh, both in this assignment and my previous one here 20 years ago. The Republic of Korea has come a long way with economic development, uh, um, with their recognition, um, the pride in the country from the Republic of Korea for Korea, uh, I think surpasses our national pride right now. And I really think that has a lot to do with the conscription service of our Katusas. Um, but I've, I've just, I've really enjoyed the community relations aspect of it. I've really enjoyed the Katusa program, the Korean augmentees to the United States Army. Uh, they, they, just, they just go above and beyond to make you feel welcome into the culture. And so I, that's, that, those are the two things I really think, the empowerment of the commander and then the, the, uh, the culture and the alliance between us and the Re Republic of Korea, really enjoyed. I've said it many times, uh, I've really appreciated living here. The experience has been great. Um, you know, my family has enjoyed the friendship and the camaraderie that we've had in the social engagements. Uh, the professional engagements, it's, it's a very professional team here. The mission unit command teams are some of the best I've ever served with. They have a, a very uh, focused effort here on mission readiness and, and the fight tonight capacity. Um, I've, I've had a great relationship with our senior mission commander uh, here at 8th Army and USFK and also in uh, Installation Management Command Pacific. Uh, so again, I've, I've never felt marginalized um, and I've always felt a trusted member of the team and I've really just appreciated this assignment uh, and what it's, uh, what it's meant and brought to uh, my professional and personal development. So just look forward to uh, seeing the good things uh, that will continue to transpire here at Camp Humphreys.